Well, hey folks, Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Minibrun Farm. Uh, yep, we got oats going on here. Do hope everybody is doing well. It is uh, a Saturday as I record this, but I do believe that means that uh, it'll be going up on Halloween. So I hope you're all having yourselves an amazingly safe and fun Halloween day. Indeed. First holiday of the onset of winter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I gotta tell you, it is, um... Absolutely, outstandingly gorgeous outside here. Right now. In fact, the last couple of days here on the uh, beautiful sunshine coast of British Columbia have really lived up to their namesake, let me tell you. I think uh, the kitties are anxiously awaiting the finish of the video so that I can open the uh, the living room curtains so they can bask in the uh, the glow of the sun. I think even the turtles kind of anxiously looking over towards the uh, the end of the living room. The windows are on. Of course, you got to keep in mind he spent the first twenty-something years of his life never seeing the sunlight. So, yeah, I can't blame him when he gets excited on a sunny day. And speaking of the uh, kitties and such, if uh, your part of the world is anything like mine. You generally get a lot of uh, a lot of folks setting off fireworks, so uh, you know, just keep an extra eye out on your uh, your little fur kids for uh, the evening and the day. Make sure that they're in before the festivities start, so they don't get scared and run off to some little hidey hole that turns out to be not as safe as they might have thought. And there's a lot of critters lost on Halloween. Just for that reason. They get scared, run out into the middle of the road or something, and that's the end of them, of course. So we're currently sitting at... Almost 45,000, but I do believe that come midnight tonight, we should be making uh, probably almost that much again out of the BGA. Uh, I'm not quite going to get the whole row, am I? Can I sneak it all in there? Can I, can I, can I? Maybe, maybe. Oh, 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 you're getting out of control, dude. Look at that. Yes. Alright, let's zip over here. Did I miss any of the edge of this? Not really, eh? Eh. Alright, well, just for the sake of saying I did. Now, let's get her turned around. And get her down here. Oh. Well, that one must have been low. That or the angle of the sun. Well, six o'clock, I suppose it's uh, getting a little on the steep side. Hard to say, of course, because we have no concept of what time of year it is, being I'm not, uh, not playing seasons. So I wonder, is that a, an optional thing in uh, 22, or is that going to be a, you know, 
a set thing. In all honesty, I think that would be, uh, you know, I don't want to say a better idea because there's so many people that just don't care for the whole seasons thing. But, uh, I mean by the same token there, I don't know. I, I've, I've kind of found that <clears throat> people that are quite adamant about not liking the seasons mod are also mostly the ones that like doing really big farms with really over-exaggerated equipment. You know, 40 meter cedars and harvesting at 70 miles an hour and all of these things. But I suppose it only stands to reason because the the biggest thing seasons changes I mean a lot of mechanics and stuff but I mean in reality the biggest thing it changes is the time it takes to do things you know there's no instant getting sheep wool the second you put them in there or cow's milk or anything else as far as that goes right there is like the song says a season for everything so let's get our sheep pen headland in here how are we doing time wise okay quarter after six yeah i forgot that i'd already started seeding this field when i logged in i kind of had a look at the uh the field and i saw the tractor and from where i looked at it from i thought it was in the corner i.e where it would start the seating but in fact it was about four rows over <laughs> yeah so we may end up having the very very far end there of the field come ripe a little bit before the rest of it <laughs> like half a day or so maybe yeah because when i saw that i hadn't started the seating yet i thought i actually went and finished the uh, grass spraying so yeah finished fertilizing our meadow so that's all taken care of takes quite a bit to get turned around here so I think a second headland is in order I mean it's nothing down at this end obviously to turn around but it's for the rest of it yeah is good fuel is good hang on and we've got lots of seeds so this shouldn't be an issue we will have to fertilize of course well hopefully unless I have to rescan the entire field again I mean, it's not that big a deal. It doesn't take that long. And I'm hoping someday they'll sell a, an upgraded version of the scanner that, like I said, allows you to uh, enter the crop that you're actually going to plant. Now granted, even with that parameter in place, you would still have to rescan, you know, eventually, 
maybe four or five crops perhaps because the uh, the software would need to verify at some point that it was not uh, basically working on false assumptions you know because although it's a a reasonably known quantity what different crops will absorb for nutrients macro and micro it's not an exact you know and a lot of things can vary it you know all it takes is one unseasonably cold day for instance because the uh, the correlation between the pH of your soil and the temperature of your soil greatly affects the amount and type of nutrients that are made readily available to your plants. So, you know, a couple of degree drop in temperature can make the difference between whether your plants take in their normal stock of nitrogen for the day or whether they take in only a portion of it. So yeah, those are things the software wouldn't be able to take into account. So you would still have to scan, but certainly not as often, not every harvest. And I suppose it's a good thing that uh, the game doesn't get that in-depth to it, because it would be driving you nuts trying to keep all of those things in track. You might as well just go out and become a real farmer, you know. Alright, here we go. And here I was worried I wouldn't get this all done today. It only took us a little bit of the day, 40 minutes or so. And, boom, she's done. Take her back. I need to give that. Uh, need to give that cedar a bit of a scrub off Oop. <laughs> ah, I thought I was a little further than that I think I must have hooked the mirror or something alrighty here we go yeah it's gonna end up all plugged and clogged if we're not uh, not a little better with the old maintenance Okay, dokie. Yeah, the tractor is fine. It's just the cedar. He needs some help. This was a pricey bit of kit. I'd like to keep it in good stead. these wireless uh, <laughs> wireless pressure washing <laughs> wireless hoseless yeah <laughs> ah the miracles of modern farming Yeah. 
So let's have a little look see. Mm hmm. So we know from that indicator that it does in fact need lime. However, yeah, it'll only tell us weeds are plowing. Oh, there's an edge there apparently. Ha. Huh. All right. But Yeah, outdated data only for one section, hey? Okay. And yeah, as you can see. Oh, that's only for uh, here. That's the cow farm. I don't care. So we're still good here, even though we just did a harvest. Hmm. Okay. That's fine with me. But yeah, as you can see, we're way down here in the mid-fives. Um, in some places, worse. Well, that could be just because I haven't scanned thoroughly enough those little bits. But yeah, we've definitely uh, degraded the pH. Yeah, that would be why. We've pretty much sucked all the new... See? We've sucked all the freaking nutrients out. So we're going to need fertilizer and we're going to need lime. So I think we're going to do lime first. Uh, 7 o'clock. We've got an hour. Let's see what's in it first. We might end up just setting this up for tomorrow. Bon never knows. How's the uh, oh, same two boxes? Cool. And it has... A plinth of lime. Hmm. Alright, we definitely need more. <clears throat> I am an idiot. Because I went the wrong way, man. I need to head over by the pig farm. Indeed, <clears throat> that's where the lime dispenser is. I mean, I could buy it by the bale out of uh, the shop. But I believe it's not only more expensive, but of course it's a much more finicky uh, process. And you can't get the exact amount you need. You can only buy it in 1,000 or 2,000, who knows, kilo boxes. So... One more leftover bit sitting out in the shop parking lot. We don't need. Traffic only comes one way on that road. So if you basically look up the road and nothing's coming, you can pull out. That stop sign's more of a suggestion. <laughs> Indeed. Alright, whoops. Eh. Almost zipped right past the entrance. Well, okay. Maybe almost is a bit of an exaggeration. Alright, one of these is lime. Um, yeah, I can't see the symbols down here. So, let's do it this way. It is the very first one. Nice. I'll try and remember that so I don't have to drone mode every time. Yoink. Load her up, man. We live for lime. Mm-hmm. Wowzer. 1700s of dollars, eh? Hmm. Alright, well. Oh, I don't think I... Yeah. 
I think I've learned my lesson here. And driving around the building is doable, but my god, it's tough. So, we're going to do that. The reverse pirouette. Yes, indeed. Classic, classic tractor driving move, the reverse pirouette. And that was a, uh, an excellently done example of it. Indeed. Do I have even a slight clue of what I'm talking about? No! Not a chance. Whoa. Alrighty. Gaping out the side window like there was something important going on. I still haven't figured out why they have to warn you that there are deer frolicking, but it's okay. Teach their own. Oh yeah. Some deweebo closed the gate, didn't they? <laughs> oh hey, they. Yeah, there you go. How was I supposed to know I was gonna have to go out again? We'll just go around. <coughs> Excuse me. So, no, I thought that might be another deer frolic sign. Okay, it's... yeah. We've only got a half an hour. I don't think we've actually got time to do this. Unfortunately. Oh, I didn't think we were going to make that, <laughs> so I kind of overshot. There we go. I should have left this till morning. Dang. It's going to take way too long. See, I'm not sure you would even want to do this after having seeded your crop. You certainly don't want to spread lime once it's popped. But, uh, yeah, I don't think even... Uh, I don't think you want to put it even on the seeds. But, this is farm sim. This isn't uh, farm and life. So, well, there's probably a game with that name too. So, you know what I mean. It's only a rough approximation of the realities. The realities? Okay, well, I guess that's one way to say it. <laughs> yeah, quarter to eight. It's almost bedtime, dang it. Hmm. <laughs> I actually uh, started this episode about 15 minutes before you guys actually got to see it. But the other part is never going to see the light of day, I'm afraid. Because I was uh, partway doing something and I guess I must have forgot where I was. Because, uh, yes indeedy, 
species let slip a swear word. <laughs> So, uh, oh no, the plago weeds, it is a coming. Dang. Do you think they'd at least let us finish this part of the job? So yeah, I uh, immediately stopped the recording. And uh, started again. I mean, it's not because I don't swear in real life. I do. Uh, I mean, I try not to be, you know, one of these people that every third word out of their mouth is, you know, the F word or something. But, eh, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a pretty normal, or pretty normal person as far as that sort of thing goes, I guess. But, just as the, uh, you know, the family dinner table is nowhere to be a mouthy bugger, neither is YouTube. Because whether it says you have to be a certain age to watch a channel, or that your audience is a certain age to watch a channel, or whatever, that's not the way it is. And I don't really want to be the one responsible for little Billy sitting at the supper table one day and going, Ah, F the pigs, Mom. You know what I mean? It can just be embarrassing. As so. And although I do rate my videos as not suitable for children, um, again, I know that in reality that means next to nothing, at least as far as, you know, who's actually going to watch it or not. So, it may suit advertisers, knowing that that's a thing, but it certainly doesn't actually uh, mean there's going to be any kind of... Uh, controls in place to stop younger people from watching my videos if they care to. Yeah, this end of the field is just so awkward. Oh, what? Oh, we're out. Oh, no. All right, well, that calls for an emergency. Oh, man. Wow. I guess. I mean, she's a big field, and this thing was fine for fertilizer. Yeah, we've got no lime, do we? That's seeds, fertilizer, fertilizer. Okay. That's seeds. All right, well... I needs a bit more, because that is not going to do it. Lime, I guess it would come in a bag, huh? There we go. And that is, oh, 2,000 liters. That should be enough. Just because we've got very little area left. Okay. Good to know.
this in and we've only got the one more row. So on top of fertilizing, looks like we're also going to have weeding today. Man. Whoops. I don't know why it does that, you know? Okay. That graphical thing where it just appears to stop spraying things? Well, I guess it does stop spraying things, so maybe it's more than a graphical glitch. <laughs> ah, well. At this point in life, you get 99% of something done. Good enough. Good enough. Lucky you got that far. With that, guys, I think we're going to end the episode. I'll, uh... Well, here. I'll let you guys know what we made. Just kidding. Take care of each other, folks. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Ciao for now.